Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Moon River. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. If you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to watch that before watching this one. It's going to be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now jumping into the TA. Taking a look at Moon River on the daily chart, uh, the chart is pulled from KuCoin on TradingView. As you can see, we have a Fibonacci retracement set up and I'm going to remove the resistance block above us just so it doesn't obscure the view. So we have the swing high printed in November and we have the swing low printed in October. Our technical target was the 1.618 at $7.24. That was met perfectly in November. Then we had a breakout from this falling wedge and we went all the way back up to the 786 Fibonacci retracement level, which we have retested back, November, back um, November 10th. And as you can see, the second retest was December 1st. From there, we proceeded to capitulate with one weaker wick to the upside. Uh, but inevitably, we just dropped even below the 1.618. And right now, our current capitulation target is the second Fib level based off of this fractal at $6.31. So I think these are very, uh, very good buying opportunities for Moon River. As I always say, if you have been buying Moon River above $100, above $200, God forbid, uh, then these are incredibly, incredibly good opportunities for you to dollar cost average and get that average buying price as low as you possibly can. So uh, if Bitcoin continues to drop, then obviously uh, we are going to go even lower than the 2.414. We're going to take a look at our potential targets in a bit on the other Binance chart. But based on this Fibonacci, our next support level is at $5.72. And next up, we have $5.43. So if you want to set up buy limit orders throughout this area here, right? A couple of buy limit orders. And if we see a potential wick to the downside, you get all of that executed. And then you have that quick recovery in the next couple of weeks, which usually happens, right? You get that relief rally. So if you want to get out of Moon River at that point, you can do that with some nice profits. And even if you wick below your, um, below your buy limit order levels, don't worry, right? You're never going to catch the exact bottom. Very few do. See, this this half percent that you missed here isn't really worth your nerves. So just calm down. You're buying Moon River below six dollars at this point here. So you have to be uh, you have to understand that you're way smarter than all of these people that were buying Moon River all the way up here at five hundred dollars at four hundred dollars. I wasn't doing that right. I was not doing that. I was not buying Moon River at those prices. However, I started dollar cost averaging at ten dollars and I've been doing so ever since. And I may start going. Um, I may start putting more money into Moon River as we go below six dollars, which is quite possible if Bitcoin wants to drop down to twelve thousand dollars to eleven thousand dollars. We could probably see Moon River retest uh, even five and a half dollars, right? And I wouldn't necessarily call that a retest because we've never been that actually, yeah, we have been that low. So we have been just slightly below five dollars in August of 2021. That's when the token launched on KuCoin. So we have been at these prices before. So I think maybe we're going to retest basically this low here where we started trading slightly go below five dollars and that's going to be our bottom. But uh, taking a look at the daily RSI, uh, as you can see, we wicked through the red support trend line that I've been talking about for many, many weeks. And uh, as soon as it doesn't matter that we wicked below, the important thing is that we touched the red trend line and that was your um, that was your buy uh, signal. Right. And uh, even if you went lower, you can dollar cost average more because I always tell you to never buy all in at one pr at one price because there is always room to drop further. Even if an altcoin is down 95% from its all-time high, it doesn't mean that it can go down 50% from the current high, from the current price. You have to understand that. So always keep that in mind. Never go all in like a degen. Always have some spare cash to buy into any potential black swan events. Now, the absolute bottom that we're targeting here for Moon River is the RSI 
sitting at 19.3. We have retested that back in January 2022. And the second test was in June 2022. So this goes to show that this level shows us that our, the, the RSI is probably going to see a bounce once it hits this white trend line. So if that happens, you know what to do. You know where to dollar cost average. Even if it goes a little bit lower, man, just buy some more. Who cares? It's very low. It's very oversold at that point. Don't beat yourself over a couple of percent that you could have, um, you know, taken a, that you could have took advantage of. No one's going to know where the bottom is. And it really doesn't matter if you buy at $5 or at $6 when you're planning to sell Moon River, let's say, back at $300 or at $400, right? You don't know if it's going to get back there unless you do your own research and you understand what the utility is behind this project. But um, also there was a request to make a fundamental review of Moon River, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I just need to find some spare time to uh, to edit the video and, and to set it up very nicely for you. And I'll upload that. So if you want to see that, let me know down below in the comment section. But based off of this Fibonacci retracement, hopefully everything is easy to understand. I'm not going to give you a bunch of resistance levels at the moment, but you can target the 20 EMA on the daily as usual. That's going to be your resistance level to take some profits if you're buying from this dip, potentially looking at a 17% move to the upside. Also, you could target the 1.618 level, which was the lower we, uh, that we printed in November. And this could be the little retracement that we're going to have to the upside coming back up to $7.24. And that could send us all the way back down to $6.31. And we could potentially print a nice double bottom here. But that's looking too deep into the future. Let's move over to the Binance website. And before we continue, I quickly want to ask you, do you value your privacy? If the answer is yes, then you must take a look at ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers you the privacy that you deserve, no activity logs and no connection logs. Your internet provider won't be able to access anything and anyone using the same open free Wi-Fi in the cafe as you won't be able to do any harm or breach your security. You can use the ExpressVPN application on any device. You can connect it to your PlayStation or you can even connect it to your router so that anyone who connects is automatically secured. Or if you're looking to access any region blocked content on your streaming platform, well, ExpressVPN can do that as well. If you're living in the Netherlands and you want to access a TV show that's only available in Japan, well, my friend, you can do that with ExpressVPN. You can use the link down below in the description and get a discounted price along with three extra months for free. You can uh, get your money back if you don't like it, but I don't see any reason why you wouldn't like it because we all need the privacy and in today's age especially. And you can also pay with Bitcoin, so that's a really cool feature as well. And let's get on with the video. Jumping into the daily chart for Moon River on the Binance website, as you can see, we have three resistance levels above us that we were targeting in the previous update. As you can see, that was all the way back, I think, December 11th. I'm not sure. But we dropped through all of these levels here and we even saw a back test of resistance. So potentially we could have taken profits at $7.44 because that was the low that we printed back in November. We lost it, retested it back as resistance, and you're already down around about 14.5%. So you could have bought back in 14.5% cheaper if you saw this drop and you wanted to sell at this next resistance level. It was quite risky. Personally, I wouldn't have done that, but still that was a potential opportunity for you for a swing trade. And as always, be very careful with your swing trades, especially when we are near the bear market bottom. Now you could say, well, we're nowhere near. We're going back to $5,000. Okay. More power to you. Swing trade, you know, the way you want to do that. But I'm just saying, if you see something, uh, you know, something like this happening, Right, just like we did in July of 2021, you see this absolute massive Tesla uh, SpaceX rocket flying into into the atmosphere. Don't say that I didn't warn you, warn you and don't say and don't blame anyone but yourself, because if you're going to take profits too early and you're going to think that the price is going to come back down, right? You sell here at nine dollars and you're expecting to buy back, let's say it's seven and the price 
goes to $9, but it drops to $8 rather than going all the way down to $7, and then it absolutely blasts into the, uh, into, you know, goes to the moon, basically, and you're left down here with your cash. So you're better off just waiting for the long term, staking your moon river, and not, you know, and not uh, opening yourself up to all these added risks on top of investing into cryptocurrencies, okay? So be smart about that. Taking a look at the daily volume, as you can see, we're getting two strong uh, selling volume candles here, red candles, and uh, taking a look at the stochastic on the daily in the oversold good buying opportunity. The MACD printed a bearish cross December 13th, so that was a good indicator, a good looking glass for us to see potentially that we're going to be continuing with this downtrend. And lo and behold, that's exactly what we did. So everything is pointing towards a buy, a very strong buy for Moon River right now. And uh, if I missed out anything important on the charts, as always, let me know down below in the comment section. Feel free to follow me on Patreon. I do share my portfolio in there and I do take a look at some low cap gems that I'm dollar cost averaging into. And I do have exclusive podcast episode dropping for my patrons and some more content that's in there to help us sort of find the bottom for this bear market. And feel free to follow me on Twitter as well. I'm going to see you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.